Welcome back to the series. Let's build a school. This is episode number five now what you see in front of you We've done baby steps on now The reason why I'm doing baby steps on this is so that I can give every single person building this Plenty of time to get everything caught up. I don't want to do too much at one time So like I said, this is episode number five and what we're gonna do in this episode guys is we're gonna go right back here to this gray concrete block on the back of the school and we're gonna want to take it on out six blocks so go this way one two three four five six and then you're gonna want to go right that away 36 blocks one two three four five 36 right there now once you get 36 blocks, go ahead and go to the front of the school and you'll see this gray concrete block right here. What you're going to want to do with this is just go ahead and drag it on back and connect it on up. I hope that you all enjoy this tutorial and this series guys. Alright now once you've got that joined up, what we're going to want to do now is go right over here. Go ahead and grab your quartz slab, your black stained glass, your light gray wool above the windows, and your brick stairs. Now right off this wall, we're going to go one, two, three of your quartz slab. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four with your brick. And... What we're going to do now, let's go ahead and go on the inside here. We're going to do the same thing on all these windows. What we've been doing all throughout the episode. Take your glass and do a 3x3. Three three. Take your light gray wool. Go on top of that. Go on the outside here. Place your quartz slab above the windows. Your upside down brick stairs like this like I said we're gonna do that all throughout the school so just go ahead and bring this on up right here like that and you see this is behind this gray concrete we want that because what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one two three right there and then we're gonna start our windows back up now it's gonna be let's see one window there. I think I'm going to make six windows here. So let's just go ahead and see how many we'll get. Uh, let's see. So we have one window there, two window there, three, four, five. We've got five of them. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our brick and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that'll work. Now, what I was ex trying to explain in the previous episode, guys. Now, if you look at a real-life building, there's not going to be windows in every single part of the building. And there's going to be a lot of places where you would think a window would be, but it's just a big wall. I'm going to try to kind of go both ways on this. I'm going to try to make it realistic, but I want it to look good as well. So again, we have one, two, three, four, five windows here. And we added six with our brick right here. So we're going to turn this way like this. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And looking at this, I predict four windows. And yes, I was right. So there's one, two, three, four windows. So again, you have six blocks of brick here, a three half slabs three brick three half slabs and it goes all the way down to here now right here is one two three four total of brick so make sure you get that just like this now what we're going to do now is go on the inside and do the same thing with the glass so we're just going to go right here 
place our glass, a 3x3, three three, same thing what we've been doing throughout the whole uh, episode, throughout the whole thing, guys. Gonna put that there, and we're gonna put the quart slab here. You guys know this already. We're gonna take this brick, come up like this, just like that, and then with the upside down brick stairs, go like this, and take this brick on up. So you should have a window like this and just go ahead and do all the way around. So take it all the way around this way, just like this. So this is what you should have so far. Now what you need to do is go ahead and take this brick back behind all this and connect it all up as well. So go all the way to this corner we're just going to stop at this corner for right now and take this quart slab and carry this quart slab on top of this guys do me a big favor and let me know down below in the comments if you're building this so i need to know how fast i need to shoot these tutorials out for you so i know if you guys are actually waiting on this so just let me know if you're actually building this guys if you are, then I'll kind of try to speed all this up for you. So once you've got this, then you're going to take your brick and connect it up this way. Just like this here. Then on top of that, just take your quartz slab, pretty self-explanatory, and connect it up right here. All right. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and leave this for now because we'll come back to it and fix it up a little bit more. But I just kind of want to finish this off a little bit. Again, it's this is a let's build, you know, so everything's just kind of off the top of my head. So what I'm going to do is take the anisite, all right, and I'm going to go all the way around this and just go ahead and outline this here just go ahead and put it right here like this now from this side this is what it's going to look like and we're going to go all the way around and just do this part here for right now and we're going to take the black carpet the black carpet is going to go on top of this anisite that we're going to be placing down and we're also going to be alternating the black wool with the black carpet as we fill this in to give it a little bit of texture. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this anisite. Again, I'm just gonna outline this whole thing for right now. Like this right here. So it's outlined. And let me just connect this on up where I was. So now it's completely outlined here. Don't worry about going up against the building there because what we're going to do now is take the black wool. And the reason why I'm using black wool on this is because in this texture pack, it looks like tiles. So you guys can use any other black block of choice. I just chose the black wool also because it has the carpet. So just go ahead and take this here and fill all of this in. Alright, so we got all this filled in with the black wool. Now before we texture it with the black carpet, what we're going to do is do a little bit of detail on this roof. So it doesn't really matter if you exactly get it the same spot as me. Just kind of go along here somewhere and you can pick any of these blocks. Any blocks that you guys think that look alright. So I'm just going to do something like this. And now all this is going to be random. I'm just going to put some uh, iron blocks there as well. And from this one, I'm just going to place the cobblestone wall. Just kind of do a random shape. Something like this. And what I think I'm going to do is just go ahead and do this here. Just do a simple little AC unit on the roof. Uh, you could put ladders or trap doors 
I, I like using ladders because I don't have to worry about people coming on here opening the trap doors on up so the use ladders on this one and just come out guys just make all this random it doesn't really matter if all this is perfect and just do something kind of crazy you know make some AC units up here not all of it is going to be the same on all the roofs so just keep that in mind just kind of go all over the place and don't do too much because this is a small little part of the roof you don't want too much up here but anyways just do something like that and you can also take some uh, buttons and just kind of place it there you see what happens when you place it above that it looks like it's a little nozzle or something like that and you could also take the iron trap doors place up here like this and you could also place one here just do different things guys it's all up to you really what you put up here on the roof uh, you could also take furnaces and if you don't want this face of it showing which is okay because I've been on a few roofs in my life um, I'm just gonna place them right here I guess these here act as like buttons and stuff like on the roof and I'm just gonna do this here uh, do something like this again all this is gonna be just purely random just stuff that's gonna be on the roof basically is all what you're gonna be doing up here just stuff like that so just kind of scatter it around something like this here now again I didn't want to put too much on this small little roof but you know just kind of change it up do something like this here now what we're gonna do is texture this roof with some black carpet now just kind of go all over the place and just randomly place one or two here and there like this right here now looking at it like this you can really see all the tiles on the roof and that's realistic now once you have this I see something that's gonna bug me this right here this anisite you know what take the anisite out place the quartz there didn't see that before so once you have your roof like this we're gonna do the same thing up here so let me just go ahead and grab this the black wool and I'm gonna do the same thing also you're gonna need the anisite let me grab the anisite real quick so let me just go right here on this corner we do the same thing as what we just done just bigger bigger area and go to right there because you don't have to go back here with that because it's gonna be covered up anyway so let's just go right here and we're gonna just pretty much like I said do the same thing and go on the whole outline of this whole top of this school like this right here so let me just go ahead and finish this on up so you have the anisite going all the way around the top like this now like I said it's gonna be the same exact thing so just go ahead and grab your black wool and fill all of this in just like this right here now as you see I went ahead and filled it all in and put the black carpet on top kind of textured it up a little bit broke it up a little bit with the extra blocks on the top of the roof with the AC units and things like that as we've done before I hope that you all are enjoying this series and how many of you let me know down below how many of you are actually watching this series how many of you are actually building this school now if there's any suggestions on the school or anything at all just let me know down below and I just want to thank you all for all the support on my channel just stay tuned thank you so much guys for everything and I'll see you all next time